I'm Robert Timmons, and you're watching Weekly Words. Stop me, oh, somebody stop me, stop me, stop me, please, somebody stop me, stop me, stop me, oh, somebody stop me, and Lord, if I'm doing Thank you for checking out this week's episode of Weekly Words. I hope this week has been great for you so far. This week, let's go ahead and get started talking about cracked, not broken. So a couple weeks ago, I was washing the dishes and I was washing this glass bowl. And as I was watching, washing it, I realized that we had had that bowl for at least 13, 14, 15 years, something like that. And over the years, it's, it's gotten a couple of scratches and, and cracks and chips and stuff. I could, I could feel it as I was watching it, washing it, and I was just thinking to myself, it's crazy how even though it's been through all this turmoil and adversity and hardship, we still use it exactly the same that we did whenever we first got it. Now, of course, we learned how to, you know, hold it more delicately and, and so it's not going to get more, more cracks and things, but we still use it to eat cereal and to eat soup and to put other things in and eat out of. It's still a regular bowl that we use daily. And I was just thinking how crazy it is that something that still has these, these chips and these cracks that we really don't even notice, something that doesn't look as good as it first did, it still serves the exact same purpose. And I thought that was so powerful to parallel to our lives, the, when, the way that God looks at us. Like, yes, we have mistakes, and yes, we've, we've uh, fallen into sin, sin and into temptation, and, and we, have, we don't look how we want to look, and all these different things that can, can parallel to the cracks and the, and the chips and the blemishes of, that the bowl has, but we can still fulfill our purpose, right? Even though we have mistakes, we can still fulfill our purpose. We just have to be reminded that God doesn't see us for our mistakes and for our, for our mishaps and for our sin. He sees us as being fearfully and wonderfully made, like it says in Psalms chapter 139. We can still live out our purpose. So, so it doesn't matter whatever mistake you made in the past, and it doesn't, doesn't matter that you don't look at like this one particular image you have in your mind of how you should look. What matters is that you're still walking in the purpose God has for you. Because even whenever we have our cracks and our chips and our blemishes, we can still impact the community around us. We can still mentor and teach the people around us. We can still write. We can still sing. We can still perform. We can still save people from fires. We can still heal. We can still protect. We can still fulfill our purpose here on earth, even though we've made mistakes in our past. Even though we don't look how we want to look. Even though we've fallen into sin and temptation, we can still fulfill our purpose. The same way we, we use that bowl, the exact same way, even though it has cracks, we can still, God can still use us in our lives, even though we have scars and, and we have blemishes and we have cracks too, but he can still use us to fulfill the purpose he put us on this earth to do. So never sell yourself short thinking that you can't do what you set in your mind to do or what God put you on earth to do because of something that you've done in the past or because of a mistake that you've made or because of how you look, right? No matter what cracks you have, no matter what mistakes you've made, you can still walk in the purpose God has of you because again, we are fearfully and wonderfully made and we are cracked, not broken. So walk in the purpose that God has for you not ashamed of where you've been because that's helped mold you into who you are. That's developed your character and, and put together your story. Embrace it and use those things that you've learned in the past to help propel you into your future and continuously walk into your purpose. Like I said earlier, whenever we drop the bowls or maybe put something on it, we learned that we had to treat the bowl a certain way so it didn't continue, continue to get scratched and scraped and chipped. In the same regard, through our lives, we've learned how we need to treat other people or how we need to treat ourselves or how we need to get rest or how we need to do whatever in order to ensure that we don't fall into temptation, that we don't make the same mistakes and that we don't continuously have failure. So learn those lessons, lessons from, your, from your chips and from your cracks, but then apply them so you can keep walking in your purpose because you can still be used by God. Walk in your purpose and remember that we are cracked not broken. 
All right, so question time. Just like every other week, I'm going to ask you guys a couple of questions. And again, I encourage you to thoroughly think through them and talk through them with your accountability part partner to see in which ways you have grown and how you can, can keep growing throughout this year. So let's go ahead and get started. Question one. I've asked this question before, but what is your purpose? What is your purpose? Question two. How do you need to remind yourself that you can still live out your purpose even though you have chips and cracks and mistakes from your past? What do you need to do to remind yourself that you can still live out your purpose even though you have chips, scrapes, and mistakes from your past? Thank you for checking out this week's episode of Weekly Words. I pray that you thoroughly enjoyed it and got something positive from it. If you have any suggestions for things for me to talk about in the future, feel free to email me at weeklywordsrt at gmail.com. Again, that's weeklywordsrt at gmail.com. All right, I hope you have a great week and I'll see you back here next time. Stop me, oh, somebody stop me. Stop me, stop me, please, somebody stop me. Stop me, stop me. Somebody stop me And Lord, if I'm doing it wrong Then please stop me